um, a lot of people when I when you read uh, improvement reports or uh, the blogs of people, most of them stop or at least start to stop wearing glasses when they are one diopter or 0.75 or that would be only four more reductions left. And yeah, and actually, my personal favorite, and, and there's lots of ways to do the last, quote unquote, last diopter. I like like one diopter, 1.25 even, and then alternating wearing that when you need it and taking it off when you don't, right? Like because around one diopter, one diopter, 1.25, on a bright sunny day, you take them off and you don't really need them, right? And then you're basically just, you're practicing active focus. It's a little bit more challenging than it was before. But then when you're over it, you're putting the glasses back on and you have full clarity. And that, it's like the zero dot, the reset kind of like that mm -hmm. practice to me and to more people than not seems to be the most convenient way to get over that last opter because you kind of go, okay, I'm, I don't need my glasses. And then when you get uncomfortable, you put them on, right? And you, you're, ne you're not really in that always active focus struggle. You're either really in active focus mode or you don't have to bother at all and over time like over a year year and a half or so you need the glasses less and less and less and less and that also helps with that with not fretting over one day your vision's better one day your vision's worse when you're when you're reducing at quarter diopter decrements after one diopter you kind of run into that it's a big decrease right like the difference between minus one and minus 0.75 is a pretty big decrease. So when you have a bad day or a bad week, you really notice it. Versus if you're wearing the minus 1.00, 1.25, then you just wear them when you need them. And it just gradually lessens till you get to the point where there's no more point in wearing them, right? And you, you, it's like a week goes by and you forgot that you haven't been wearing them. Like that's my, that's my favorite way to deal with the last out. Okay. So uh, we use plus lenses in, in that stage for close-up? I don't. If you're making improvements, like if you're doing that one, what I was just talking about, and over time you're improving, it's much easier and less tricky than using plus lenses. Like the defocus, uh, peripheral defocus with plus lenses is funky. Some people don't get along with plus lenses too well. And if you get enough distance vision time, in most cases, there's no need for plus. The only time I say plus lenses is usually when we're dealing with kids and kids who just function at much closer distances and whose eyes respond more rapidly. But for us, in most cases, you can do it without plus lenses. The full episode of the Short Sighted Podcast and lots more episodes are available in the Back to 2020 member section, along with hundreds of pro topic videos I made over the years, lots of guides, access to a community forum with over 90,000 monthly member visits and tons more resources in Back to 2020.